All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Sharice Matthews. I'm an elite pro weight with Life Vantage, and I'm glad that you're here for this training. I'm super excited that, uh, that our, the whole team has put this together so we can offer training for all of you. If I look down, I'm just looking at some notes, um, just, so, just so you know. Uh, but right now, uh, I get to talk about where we're going to split this. First of all, I, what we're going to talk about tonight is the close, because we're always going to go through the proven plan. And I get to talk about the close and kind of the meeting after the meeting. And then also we have a special guest, Dr. Nancy Bryan, who is on as well. And she's going to join us and talk some product talk. And by the way, you are going to want to hear this. She is on fire right now. In fact, um, she, within 48 hours, placed, I think it's five or six platinum packs last week. So it has been um, crazy and she's on fire. So stay tuned for that as well. So I want to get started with the clothes. And first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to seventh grade when the little boy passes the note two seats over to the little girl. And on the little note, it says, Will you go with me? Check yes in the box or check no. Remember those days? How simple is that? And that's what we're going to talk about with the clothes because the little boy actually had the nerve to ask the little girl if she would go with him. And that's all we have to think about when we're thinking about this clothes is that most people don't actually ask. And a lot of people that tell me they have a hard time with the clothes is because I ask them, do you actually ask the person if they'd like to join you in the business? Do you ask them to get started? And if there's one line I have used in the last six and a half years, and you better write this one down, I've used it, I will always use it, it will always be my clothes. And that is, let's get started. Did you hear that that wasn't even a question? I don't say, are you ready to get started? I don't even like the question of on a scale from one to 10, where do you see yourself? Because a lot of times they'll say seven because seven's a really easy answer or five is a really easy answer to give. I don't even ask that question. I always just say, let's get started. And that has worked for me. And I've probably said that in any presentation, probably, oh my gosh, seven, eight times. But I want to walk you through this because it really starts with a mindset. Um, I, I want you to think of uh, when, when my son, he's 14 now, but when my first son, when he was two years old and had his very first ice cream cone, he had this ice cream cone and I was so excited to give my little kid an ice cream cone for the first time. And I'll never forget what happened. He was sitting outside. It was really sunny. It was a really hot day. And he looked at it and it kind of dripped on his hands and it was cold. It felt really good, didn't it? And he looked at it and the first thing he did was this. Put it right on and just started rolling it around. And I'm like, what did he, well, he put it on top of his head. I'm like, oh my gosh, Isaiah, what are you doing? And it dawned on me. He had never had an ice cream cone, so he didn't know what to do. He didn't know that you lick it and then it tastes really good. And all he needed was one lick and it's all over. We all love ice cream. But it dawned on me that, you know, people don't necessarily know what the next step is. They don't know what to do until we are there leading them to that next step. Okay, so with this, number one is they're really testing your belief. Now, I'm not gonna go through objections and resolving concerns because I know we've already hit on that before, but those kind of objection and resolving concerns go right into the close. And so you must really question skillfully and then listen carefully when after you're giving this presentation to find out what somebody needs. And really with this is that, um, I want you to have a mindset of this, that you have a gift to give. We all have a gift to give, but we can't be the gift that we want. It has to be the gift that they want. And if you're very skillfully asking questions to find out what they want, then you can give the gift that they want. Okay. And I'm going to get to that in one second. 
<laughs> uh, number two is that you are not attached to their decision. And this is really, really important because if you get very attached to their yes or no, then you're going to try to be getting someone in the business. And we don't want that. Listen, they're either going to do it or they're not going to do it ultimately. And so you cannot be attached to the decision. Three, um, one person's not going to make or break your business. And the reason why I say that, listen, I've got some people in my business that are doing a lot of work and yes, they do make a lot of my business. But if that person is not interested in doing this, they're not interested. They're never going to do it. So that person's not going to make your business, okay? And you also have to have the mindset that you are taking this all the way to the top. You're throwing the oars off. You're in that boat and you're going, okay? So you have to have that mindset. So again, really quickly, when you start this, you have the mindset that you have a gift to give, the gift that they want, okay? You're not attached to the decision or the outcome. Uh, this one person is not going to make or break your business, and you are taking this all the way to the top. Of course, that's that fear of missing out, if you will. Okay. So again, they don't know the next step. You do. And so with this, for instance, let's go back to um, you're giving a gift to give. So when you're asking throughout the process, what's happening in their life and what they would want out of this and what type of income can they see themselves making from this or, or what, uh, if they had all the money in the world, what would they do with their time? I mean, there are so many different questions that you can come up with, but one in particular that stands out for me was that I was sitting with a doctor and this was some time back and I asked him that question. If you had all the money in the world, what would you do? And he said, all I ever want to do is go and play soccer with my two young girls. And he said, I'm always working. I miss all of their soccer games. All I want to do, I love soccer. They love soccer. I want to play soccer with my girls. And that was, that came out after a series of questions, but it finally came out. That was the hot button. So the close was extremely easy because at the very end, all I did was flip open the computer and say, come on, let's get you back on the pitch with your girls. Let's get started. How simple is that? How is he going to go, nah, 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 I don't want to play on the pitch with the girls. I don't want to play soccer with the girls. He just told me that's all he's ever wanted to do. And so if you're listening to what they want, you can use it. Hey, you know what? Somebody wants to, somebody, maybe their pain was that they wanted to earn money for college education, for their kids' college education, or for, you know, braces for the kids or whatever it may be. It's very simply at the end, hey, let's make that college tuition a little less painful. Let's get started. Open up the computer and get going. Listen, they will, you know, let's get those braces paid for. Let's get started. Let's get some more time for you to spend with your family. Let's get started. Let's get you on the track to better health. Let's get started. I mean, we can go on and on and on and on. It just depends on what that gift is that you give them. What's the, what's the present they want? And so that makes it really easy, the let's get started. I was recently in a meeting that we gave, and it was a home presentation, and we had seven guests there. And this doesn't always happen, but I'm telling you what happened is that we had seven guests and every single one of them joined that night. And it was energy, it was electric that night, but we ended it with, let's get started. I flipped open the computer and the one girl was so excited, she jumped up and started the process. Well, when she started the process, guess what everybody else wants to do? They're gonna follow in suit. This is what we're doing at the end of the meeting. We're signing in, whether it was product or it was business. So let's get started has always worked for me. Okay. Now, with that, um, they're always going to test your belief. If they're not ready to get started, they're going to tell you right away, I'm not ready to get started. And I'll say, whoa, 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 hold on. I, you know, I have another question. And any question they come back up with is literally to test your belief. And, or if you say, gosh, could I do this? Can I do this? I'm sorry, you guys. I thought I muted everybody out. Make sure that you are on mute. And if you're not, there we go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. Okay, terrific. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, so, they, so they may do this. They may just test your belief and say, gosh, I don't know. But, you, know what, you know, I don't know. They may ask at the very end, well, hold on. You know, is it, is it a pyramid? Is it one of those things? 
No, it's not. Let's get started. <laughs> That's when I, I don't ever get is it a pyramid anymore, but that one's just so much fun. Um, so anyways, they're just going to test your belief and they're also going to be testing their own thinking. Can I do this? So you, unless you know why they want to do this, the clothes may be very difficult and you have to go there in order to make this easier. So if you just take that, there are many different closes that you can use, but unless you know their hot button, I don't know any other clothes that works better than this one that I'm using that I've used for six and a half years here. Um, I'll never forget, I have another example here. It was a veterinarian, and this veterinarian, she just wasn't given much, you know, to, to the, I was just trying to dig in and, and find her pain. And, and I finally just asked her, I said, is your goal to grow your veterinary practice? And she says, well, absolutely. And I said, well, how do you network now? And she really was like, gosh, I really, I don't know if I really network that much. I have my veterinary practice. I love animals and this is what I do. And we started digging in through that vein. And what we really found out was the best thing for her to do was to create networking within her veterinary practice and become the expert on canine health. And then it was very easy, you know, which better yet, what if we gave meetings in your office and your patients brought friends, would it expose your practice more than it is right now? She said, absolutely. I said, fantastic, let's get started. And it was really easy. Do you see where that's going? This should never be the hardest part. This should be the most fun you have. It's the most fun I have in the business. And when you are, uh, and I know I'm supposed to be talking a little bit about the meeting after the meeting, and there is a definite meeting after the meeting, and it's where all the magic happens. So if you are actually in a meeting, I talk mainly about giving a one-on-one -on -one presentation, but if you're in a meeting, um, rule number one, do not ever end your meeting with, does anybody have questions? Because I guarantee you, you're gonna have, you're gonna go down some rabbit hole that's gonna ruin the excitement of the rest of the people that are excited from one person. One person can sour the whole bin of, uh, what is it, sour apples? <laughs> so don't, don't go there. Instead, say we're gonna be around for questions and end it and say let's get started and physically open up the computer and start the process right there. Um, and then from there, really dig in and help people within that after meeting is where Everything gets answered, but not, you're not just going to keep it going and going and going. Listen, you guys, it's either ultimately a yes or a no. And I'll tell you what, if it's a, sometimes, you know, listen, let's not even go to the maybe. I can't stand the maybe. Does anybody get the maybe and let me think about it? Or I want to try it first. Um, when somebody says, I want to try it first, I said, oh my gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about here. And I open up a bottle and I give them one to try, give them some water, and said, that's, you just tried it, let's get started. <laughs> that's what I do. I mean, if they wanna try it first, they wanna try more, oh my gosh. Right here, true science, right on, and you'll smell it, that's great. You just tried it, let's get started. I mean, you guys, you gotta go there, you gotta ask the question. Um, what was the other one I just said? I said, uh, yeah, I wanna try it first, but there was another train of thought I had. Mm. I forgot what it was. Sorry, I, I apologize. Um, so anyway, so with that, with that, I really just believe that uh, I, oh, I, I got something I was thinking about. It's going to come to me later in the middle of the night. I'm going to jump up and say that's what I was thinking, but that's okay. So anyway, so they, if they want to try it, all right, let them try it right there and get going. But really, you've got to take them to that point and ask every time. And like I said, it's not really asking because if you, if you ask them, are you ready to get started? It's a, oh, that's what it was. A yes or a no. I don't like maybe land. Nobody likes maybe land. Maybe is meaning it's not important yet. That's all that is. So if they say, well, maybe, and let me think about it, it's just not important yet. You know, it's kind of like on the radio when you hear a, a song for the first time and you go, what the heck is that? And you turn the radio station. And then the next time you hear it, you go, oh yeah, it's kind of more familiar, all right. And then by the fifth time you hear it, you're like, I'm rocking out to this thing, it's my favorite song. It's because it's become more familiar 
and it's because it's become very important. So maybe just means it is not important to me yet. And what I mean by that is even a no is definite. And most people, they, don't have, they have a real problem just saying no. And they may say yes, and then they get started, or they may give you a no, which is fantastic, because then you can move on, or they give you that maybe. No one likes maybe land. Get them out of maybe land by asking more questions. So let's get started. That's my line. I've used it forever. Go use it, take it, and learn. All right, so what I want to do right now is I want to bring on uh, one of just a dear friend of mine because she has been so instrumental um, within my business and uh, she is she is Dr. Nancy Bryan from Phoenix and she is a compounding pharmacist and in fact I really like to call her Forrest Gump. She's one of those people you could put in the middle of a thousand people and she'd make friends with every single one of them and she knows somehow she's connected to every single one of them as well. And she has been very instrumental because not only is she a compounding pharmacist, but I truly believe she is a healer. And what she's been able to do is really dig in and she understands she's a biochemist. She understands the, these products and the reason why she's with this company, and she can tell you more, is because of this product line. And she's been very instrumental in uh, building a, a Pro 4 business and on the way now to Pro 5. And just in the last week, she has enrolled five or six possibly now platinum packs um, within her business. And most of them have been um, front line. She's on fire right now. Dr. Nancy Bryan, welcome to this Zoom, and please tell us why you're excited about these products, and I know there are a couple in particular that you really want to discuss on here. Welcome, Nancy. Do I have to unmute you? You're still muted. How's that? Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yay. Wow. Fantastic. I was saying that you really make me blush and now I'm getting like super warm. But no, anyway, thank you so much. Um, honestly, I wish I could take great uh, credit for all of this chemistry and brain stuff. But honestly, somehow it just ends up being there. I don't know how. It just all makes sense to me. And after all the studies and all my experiences, it just all comes together. And that is one of the main reasons I become so passionate about what we have here. Now tonight, I was supposed to be talking about canine health. I'm not sure how that all came to be. Um, so just for a minute, I do want to touch on that. But I want to get to something that's more important than that in regard to just our overall view of the products. Um, in terms of canine health, the thing that um, I want to express the most, first of all, my daughter's a veterinarian, not me, but my daughter is a veterinarian, and I hear firsthand from her all the different things that go on with canines. And canines are mammals, they're just like we are. And so one of the best things that you can take a look at is when you're looking at all the human studies, you need to know and understand that is exactly the same thing that happens in dogs. The difference is with dogs, especially, it's seven times faster. So that means it's that much more important for them to start early to take care of oxidative stress because oxidative stress is gonna affect them. Most people, when they think about their dogs aging, they think about their joints and they look at them and not be able to walk and to run and to do all the things they usually do. But the other things that take place are their cognitive thinking. And ultimately that's their happiness. They get depressed too. And so one of the biggest things that you'll see when people put their dogs on canine health is you'll right away start seeing a shift in the attitude of the dog. And when they did our initial studies with canine health, they couldn't even do it as a double blind test because the people that were actually really giving their dogs canine health could tell versus the people that were, you know, the other people weren't seeing any difference. And so it was kind of hard to have it be a double blinded study when the canine was hap happily running around and jumping around again, it was pretty obvious to them that they were actually getting the product. So the important thing to remember in terms of, of the pets is taking a look and making sure that they're getting the active um, ingredients um, through canine health. And if they're taking other things, like with ProTandem and us, you can have some interference. So make sure when you're checking with people in canine health that they're taking a look at if they're on uh, glucosamine and chondroitin or whatever, they really shouldn't need to 
to take that along with canine health that may interfere. Um, so enough said about that. If you have extra special questions on canine health, you know what, I'll be more than happy to address those um, to some of you if you're Facebook friends with me or whatever, but we can get more into it then. But the bottom line is everything that applies to us with regard to oxidative stress affects them as well, but seven times faster and they respond faster. So having said that, one of the things that I wanted to talk to um, you about tonight was a conversation that Sharice and I had had um, a little um, while ago, a couple of days back. And it was in regard to people totally understanding um, the true uh, ability for us to utilize our protandum NERF-1 and NERF-2 through our body by making sure that we're having proper absorption. And so I just wanted to bring into account um, taking a look at the cleanse that we have and the probiotic, um, probio, because um, I think people are really underutilizing or un not understanding its true value and what it really means to have your gut and your brain connecting to each other in terms of really looking at optimum wellness. That's our path here. We're on a path to make sure that first, you know, we had NERF 2 and we had ProTandem communicating with NERF 2 pathway. That's where all of your genes are expressing and the good um, antioxidant production is happening. Then we have NERF 1. That's the mitochondria repair. That's where you're going to start being able to have a much better mitochondria happening, which is the energy of the cell. That's going to drive the work that the protandum nerf 2 is doing, you have to have the energy in that cell for it to be able to clean itself up, for it to be able to move and to do the things it needs to. In the chemistry of the brain, it takes energy to go from a, a nerve ending into the snaps of another nerve. All of those things are really important, and so that's how the nerf 2 and the nerf 1 work together. But what we really need to make sure that we're taking a look at is in our digestive tract. It is 30 feet long. Think about that. That's just insane to me. 30 feet from your mouth down to you know, and it's a really long tube. And that tube is what separates the outside environment from inside our body. Think about that. With all the stuff that we have outside, that's what's protecting us. And it's not a solid skin. It is porous. You know, the cells are put together in a fashion that they can move around a little bit. And so it's really important for that gut health to be maintained. And the best way we maintain that is by having proper probiotics in the lower digestive tract. So if you think about the lower digestive tract having a bunch of little garages, and all those little garages get full of trash. As they're full of trash, the good bacteria that needs to be down there breaking things up and helping us to um, utilize nutrients can't make their home in those garages. We need to have them make that home. So it's really important to start on the cleanse. When you have the cleanse, it's going to go in gently. At first, I was a little concerned when I saw a cleanse because sometimes that makes me nervous. But this is a very gentle cleanse. It's for a week. And what it does is it takes the trash out of those little garages, and that makes room when you start taking the pro-bio. Then the pro-bio can move those good bacterial strains into those garages, start making a home. And the, the whole idea is that you get more and more of those garages full of these good bacteria, and then once a month, and maybe after once a month for a few months, you can back off a little, but that beginning of the month, every time you're gonna take the trash out that's building up again in some of those garages, get it out, and then the probiotic is able to be able to stay home in those garages, and it also helps to feed those little biomes, those little homes in those garages. And when that probiotic, um, it gets down there. One of the things that makes ours so special is it also has Wellmune in it. And that Wellmune literally goes in and as it's absorbed, it attaches to our white cells. If you can imagine, it goes through that stomach lining and it attaches and it helps the white cells to go find the toxins and to find the bad things. And so it really enhances our ability to take care of our immune system. 
All of that upregulates into the brain and communicates back and forth with the brain, telling the brain, okay, absorb more foods. That allows protandum to be taken in on a nerve two level again, even greater. And then the mitochondria, as they're repairing, help with the energy. So it all works together. And um, I just think that that's a really important um, process for people because I think a lot of people may say to people, well, I'm on a probiotic. Our probiotic is unique. With the biotrack system in it, you're going to absorb up to 60% of those um, uh, groups of uh, probiotic, and we need to be able to absorb those. Most products out there, you get maybe 10 to 20% of them. They may have tons and tons of them listed, but you're not taking them in and you're not able to utilize them. So it's really important that you understand the bio track is going to bring that in there, then the Wellmune is going to um, really help with your immune system. So I, I don't know if that all made sense, but hopefully um, it gives you a better idea of why it's important when they tell you other probiotics, they don't contain Wellmune. This is a patented product, again, you know, where we have this Wellmune inside this, and there's not other probiotics with that. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Nancy, so much. That makes sense. I'm a visual person, and to think about cleaning out the garage and so they give it room for the good stuff, I'm all about that. And also, we were talking about how that Nerf one, once that the garages are cleaned out and the probio can work and everything can get absorbed, that Nerf one, really the number one, I guess, symptom, if you will, what we were talking about of of any mitochondrial disease or mitochondrial dysfunction is fatigue, correct? Yes, yes. And, it, and it's, it's an old overall body fatigue, but it's a mental fatigue as well. And so, again, all the cells of our body have different functions, but if they don't have the energy to drive that cell, it can make it really difficult. And so one of the biggest things um, that we see when we first start taking Nerf One, sometimes people do experience a little bit of tiredness because they've had a lot of mitochondrial repair. In that case, and I've had many people comment to me after they've heard me on Zoom in the past, that when I mentioned to them, maybe take it at nighttime if you're finding yourself a little bit tired at first, that is a good time to take it because your body is repairing and that's a good time for repair but what you may find is later on down the road after you get through that first six weeks that you can resume taking it in the daytime and you're going to find yourself having so much more energy just overall it's almost like your body is lighter i don't even really know how to describe it but that is definitely true Yes. Thank you, Nancy, so much. I mean, this has been incredible and just so you're such a wealth of information and we're so excited to have you on the team and thank you so much. And I'm just fired up for everything that you're doing within your team and I'm excited to see where your business goes from here. Oh, me too. Me too. Thanks so much. And I hope that uh, it's helpful for everyone, but thank you, Cherise, for those closings because I'll tell you what, that's where I think a lot of us, we kind of just get tongue tied at the end. I know I do the same. We tell them all this information and we kind of forget to listen and really find out what it is that they need. So thank you. I appreciate all those words of advice. Oh, no. Thank you, Nancy. And that, that just reminds me of, you know, when we give a gift and, you know, you're so excited because maybe it's the gift that you want, but it may not be the gift they want. And so we can be as excited as we want about the red shirt. But if red is the worst color for them and they love yellow, they're not going to be excited about a red shirt, are they? So we have to listen so that we know that what they want is the yellow shirt. <laughs> and we have a gift here for everybody. So it's just a matter of um, we have to listen to them and then just say, let's get started. So thank you, Nancy. And thank you, everyone, for being on tonight. And I uh, just want to say that... Um, Get, if you don't have a passion for what we're doing right now, get a passion because I have never seen anything like this. We are changing the face of human health one by one by one. And before you know it, it's going to be around the world. So go out there, everybody, and get started. Take care. <laughs> okay, thanks.